we're doing this because we just think it's great and we need great children, beautiful children in our country. We actually need them. Conservatives in the anti-abortion movement are decrying former President Donald Trump's proposal to mandate insurance coverage for in vitro fertilization as equivalent to or worse than the mandate for contraception coverage under Obamacare. On August 29th, Trump announced he supports federal taxpayer funding and an insurance mandate for coverage of all costs associated with IVF treatment. Under the Trump administration, we are going to be paying for that treatment. Some conservatives have said Trump's proposal is similar to the Obamacare requirement for employers to provide insurance coverage for contraceptives and emergency contraception. Religious conservatives, particularly Catholics, and other strongly religious anti-abortion advocates argue IVF is morally hazardous because of the destruction of perpetual freezing of human embryos involved in the process. Both Trump and his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, have distanced themselves in recent weeks from the anti abortion base of the party, beginning by removing all but a few lines of reference to abortion in the Republican Party platform. Trump recently said his administration would be great for women and their reproductive rights, and Vance vowed that Trump would veto any federal abortion ban in his second term. Over the past several weeks, anti-abortion organizations and thought leaders have been divided over whether to support the former president in an election against the openly abortion rights position of Vice President Kamala Harris. 